Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to have a Scribus workshop. So we're going to create a magazine. We're going to edit the cover of the magazine and then the first two pages of a magazine. And we're going to use everything that we learned throughout this Scribus video course right here on our channel. So let's go ahead and add pages to our document. Let's go here to arrange pages. Now let's drag from normal other two pages like this. Now let's change them to facing pages with the right one as the first one like this. So this one is going to be our cover and these two are going to be our first two pages. So let's go to our cover like this and let's create an image frame from here. As you can see, I already have a bleed. So this white stripe right outside the red one and you can edit here from file to document setup and then you go to margin margins and bleeds and i can make it bigger if i want to i just have to link up all these measurements and then let's embiggen them like this let's click on ok as you can see i have this bleed right here and this is really necessary if i want to have a picture that is as big as the cover because sometimes when you go to the printer it will have a margin based on the printer and not based on the document so a picture that fills the entire page is rather difficult to have if you do not use the bleed so it's really important for us because we're going to have a whole picture for our cover so let's click on the right side of our mouse and let's go to get image and let's get our image from our computer Okay, so this is our picture. Now let's zoom it in order to have it as big as the page. Perfect. So now we have it in the center like this. So this is going to be our cover, this beautiful picture. Now let's create a grid line by clicking on here and then dragging from here. Okay, so as you can see this blue line right here, then another one right here. So this is going to be the center of our page like this and then we're going to have this one right here for our title and then another one for our quote down to here we can also edit them like this so as you can see i can move them and this is really helpful because i i now have to fill out the cover for example with the title of our magazine the name right here now let's go to text properties right here so the text properties of this text frame that I just created. Let's go ahead and change the size of the font. For example, let's go to 130 like this. And then let's change the font. So we can go with something like the Britannic Bold like this. And then let's create a name for our magazine. For example, we can call it Logos like this. We can also make it a bit bigger like this. And then we can put it in the center. And then we can change its color so we can have it white like this then we can have it with a border like this so let's go to preview mode and let's see what we are working with okay so this is our cover like this as of now as you can see now i have to add other texts to this beautiful cover so in order to not alter these positions so the position of the picture and the title Let's go to layers like this and let's lock this layer right here and let's add another layer that we can call cover text like this okay so now i have to create other text frames that will be already linked to this layer so for example let's have a text frame right here and we can fill it with a sample text so sample text english three paragraphs like this Perfect. Let's go to text properties and let's change them. For example, let's have the text a bit bigger like this. Then we can change its color so we can have it white like this. I can also have it with a border like this. And then I can go on the first line and make it a bit bigger and with a shadow and in another font like this, for example. And then I can go ahead and create other two text frames right here. So one here and then another one here let's add a sample text now let's have it all white like this and a bit bigger and once again our first line also a bit bigger with a shadow like this perfect now we can do the same with our other paragraph like this so let's go ahead and add a sample text when 
paragraph in English, all white, and a bit bigger, and I work tight and the first line also a bit bigger with a shadow. Okay, so this is going to be our other text frame, like this. And then, last but not least, we're going to have a quote right here. So let's add another text frame like this. And we're going to have another font, maybe. For example, an Eras Bold IDC like this. So we're going to have it bigger like this. And let's add a sample text. So English and then one paragraph. Now, let's have it all white like this. And let's add the quotation marks like this. We can also have it a bit bigger, maybe, like this, and we can expand our text frame. We can also go ahead and select all and change the line spacing and have it automatic line spacing, like this. And then we can have it all in oriented in the middle, like this. Perfect. And then we can add a last text frame with the source of the quotation. So, for example, we can add a line like this. We can have it all white and then with an automatic line spacing. Perfect. Then let's orient this on the right. So this is our cover. Let's go on preview mode. So this is our cover. As you can see, it really works. But maybe let's add shadow here and the border so that it stands out a bit more. Let's go to preview mode like this. Maybe let's distance this a bit more from border of the document like this. Let's go to preview mode. So as you can see, this is the cover for our magazine. Now let's go to our pages. So first thing first, let's go to view and let's add grids and guides and let's show the grid so that it really can help us with the document. Now let's go to edit and to master pages and let's create a new master page. So manage master pages, let's click on this one. We're going to create a new master page that we can call inside pages like this and we can create a text frame right here on this angle we can fill it with insert character and then page number like this now let's go to our arrange pages let's click on inside pages and drag it to normal first and then to the other normal right here so the third page so these two as of now are linked to the inside pages master page so as you can see they have the number of the page right here and right here and this will be automatic if i decide to add other pages to our magazine they will have also the numbers now let's go ahead and create the text frames from our pages so this is going to be a first text frame so we can go ahead and create our other text frame like this and thanks to the grid lines we can have it roughly at the same height of the other one then we can also have two smaller ones right here like this and then another one here on the other page now let's go to edit and let's go to styles and let's create paragraph styles so let's go to new and then paragraph style perfect so let's go to properties let's have them align on the left let's have no color and then we can go to paragraph fx we can have a drop caps with five lines as a height with an auto indent like this and then we can go to character style we can have the dimension on 16 and then we can go to font and we can have it a 28 medium like this we can have it black and we can call this style inside page page style like this let's go to apply let's now let's go here to our first text frame let's go to text properties let's go to style and let's go to inside pages styles and then we can fill it with a sample text so four paragraphs from english like this perfect and then we can do the same on this one so text properties and then inside pages styles sample text english four and then for the smaller ones we can go with maybe three uh, with maybe two paragraphs the same here sample text two paragraphs in English. Now let's add some pictures. So let's go ahead and add a picture frame, one right here, and then we can also have another one here, and then two down here, one here, and then one here. Now let's go ahead and fill them with pictures. So for example, get image. So this is our first picture that we can have right here. Then let's add our other picture. 
perfect let's have it a bit bigger like this maybe perfect and then let's add this other picture so get image perfect and then our last one right here now as you can see we have our text underneath our pictures but we can manage them by clicking on the picture and going to properties then we can go on shape and let's click on this second button right here as you can see we have a text flow that is altered by the presence of the picture perfect now let's go ahead and let's do that for every single one of our pictures like this now as you can see with these pictures right here maybe we have the text that is pretty close to our picture so what we can do is clicking on the picture and then go and edit and then we can edit the distance between the text and the pictures like this and we can do the same here so edit like this and also right here like this and with the first one too and then maybe we can go ahead and change the color of the first lines of our text so let's go to text properties and let's change the color for example we can have it magenta underlining with a shadow and we can do it for the others too so let's select everything and let's have it with a shadow this and magenta perfect and then on this page maybe we can change the colors so we can have it cyan like this and with a shadow but underlined and then we can have it red here like this red and also underlined like this and with a border okay perfect so now we can go on our preview mode and we can actually see our pages so this is page two and this is page three like this with the underlined and maybe we can add some type of banner right here so maybe we can add a shape so a shape right here for our border like this and then we can fill it with something so let's go to properties right here so let's go on fill let's have it maybe gradient like this let's choose our color for example green so that we can create another gradient like this if we want it on the page we can have it go on the bleed and we can also do the same on the other side so let's copy it and let's paste it on the other side so let's have it right here like the other one but let's have it with another shade like this okay so this is our second banner like this one so if we go to preview mode you'll see that we have these two banners right here on our page so this is our first page and this is our third page right here and then we have our cover so this one so this is it for our workshop thank you all for watching this video if you enjoyed it you can hit the like button and thank you all for watching our video course on scribis this open source software that enables you to create documents ready for printing remember to subscribe to our channel in order to stay updated on our next video courses